whistleblower Daniel Ellsberg invites Supreme Court to indict him again under the Espionage Act. Let me tell you a secret. Uh, I had possession of all the Chelsea Manning information before it came out in the press. Did you? Julie, I never said that publicly. Julian Assange had conveyed to me as a backup mm. in case his was, you know, they caught him and he mm. got everything. Mm. Uh, he could rely on me to find some way to get it out mm. if I felt. So I had all that, and when I say that, I'm saying that by the current standing of the Department of Justice, I am, am now as indictable as Julian Assange and as everyone who put that information out. The papers, everybody who handled it, yes, I had copies of it and I did not give them to an authorized person. So if they want to indict me for that, I will be interested to argue that one in the courts, whether that law is constitutional. The Supreme Court has never held that using the Espionage Act as if it were a British Official Secrets Act, which I would clearly have violated, but if that, uh, using the Espionage Act as if it were an Official Secrets Act, which has never been passed by our Congress, that uh, uh, that would be um, criminal. They've well, never, never ruled on that. I'd be happy to take that one to the Supreme Court. What you've just done to me, Daniel Ellsberg, by Make telling, you, me, you're also telling me that secret, Sorry. You've, uh, no, you've actually said something really interesting, because what you seem to be saying is you wouldn't mind. In fact, you would almost invite the U.S. government yes. to challenge you once again in the courts, because you think that the Espionage Act not just is unconstitutional. Yeah, used, used against whistleblowers is used is unconstitutional. It's a clear violation of the First Amendment.